the Titanfall franchise began in 2014. Shortly thereafter, in 2016, Titanfall 2, Titanfall 2's PvP and online was considered to be absolutely outstanding by pretty much everybody who played it. However, it was released in a poorly timed fashion, right next to Battlefield 1 and Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. To make matters worse, Titanfall 2, like its predecessor Titanfall, fell victim to DDoS attacks that rendered its multiplayer services essentially useless most of the time. This started on the 4th of July, 2021. The hackers responsible for these attacks were also responsible for the Apex DDoS attacks, in which they stated the reason for those was to raise awareness and try to save the original Titanfall game. If that sounds confusing to you, well, you're not alone, because it's pretty damn confusing. Fortunately for Titanfall 2 fans, a patch that was released in September of this year has brought the game back to life. I, like many people late to the game, only was able to play Titanfall 2 in its campaign, which is spectacular and is also what we're going to be focusing on today. However, September's recent fix has given a lot of players like myself their first chance to play the PvP, and I can tell you it is absolutely outstanding. But I digress. The reason we're here today, as I mentioned earlier, is to take a look at the Titanfall 2 campaign, which has been heralded by many people that have played it, and even folks who've only watched video on it, as being one of the best looking, best playing, most fun first person shooter campaigns ever, and certainly in the last decade. Now real quickly before we dive into this, we're gonna ask a question real quick that I know a lot of people who love this game are aching to know, and that is, will there be Titanfall 3? While nobody knows the answer to this for sure as of yet, one thing we do know is that Respawn Entertainment has been throwing little tidbits nodding towards the idea of Titanfall 3 in Apex. And not only that, it's their only live service game that continues to have lore from Titanfall in it. But I want you to take a look at this. This is from a Reddit post from a month ago. Apex patch notes have three transmission codes at the end that show the release dates for all the games released by Respawn so far. It's pretty obvious to me that they're pointing at this as if asking what's next. Titanfall 2 then goes on sale for $3. Hasn't this game been on sale before for like four or five, but never three? Then the game gets updated with a new game mode mysteriously named three question marks. How many question marks are there? That's right, three. And to top it off, the description of the game mode is straight up from the movie 300. 300. Ladies and gentlemen, it couldn't be any clearer than this. Yeah, I don't know for sure that I'm gonna buy into all that. However, there are some interesting coincidences. This obviously by no means means anything, really, at all. But this is the time when speculating about a game or a game that isn't gonna be a game actually is kind of fun. Feel free to pontificate on that a while, but in the meantime, let's take a look at arguably one of the best first-person shooter campaigns in recent memory. This is Titanfall 2.
facility substation. What would you like me to do with it? And I bloody care. Destroy it. What about its pilot? He is being dealt with. This facility was built to kill. I'm sure I can take advantage of that fact if I have to. Ash, that place is not your bloody playground. I'm not paying you to be clever. You scuttle that place if you have to, eh? Let's go. <laughs> okay. This is a highly dangerous environment. I suggest you embark, pilot. BT, I found Nathan. He's uh, in the ceiling. Objective complete. We have rendezvoused with Major Anderson. It's cold, BT. Correct. Anderson's current temperature is 17 degrees Celsius, below <laughs> the threshold of human survival. <laughs> oh man, that's rude. So should you play Titanfall 2? My answer is a resounding hell yes. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Hope you enjoyed the video. Cheers.